painting peeps and welcome it's Kathleen from Cosperations welcome to the no bra zone number two guys I am glad you're here today we're going to be doing a swipe I haven't done a regular swipe in a while we are working on a 20 by 24 inch gallery wrap canvas now let's talk about that that um when you're doing a swipe this has two orientations this is horizontal where the long way is this way or we could do it this way which is vertical now i'm going to do it horizontal but let me tell you why if you're doing it horizontally and you lay your swipe line down in the middle of the canvas you've got a further distance to get from the swipe line down to the bottom, which means you're going to have more negative space because that paint is gonna run off its paper towel, which is what we're swiping with. And as it gets towards the bottom, most of the paint is going to be gone. So you'll have some negative space left down at the bottom. So for that reason, I don't want as much negative space at the bottom of this canvas. I am going to do it in the horizontal um, layout. Now, the reason I don't want, and I'm a negative space kind of girl, the reason why I don't want a lot of negative space at the bottom is I want a lot of negative space in my middle swipe line. Now, let's talk about what I'm going to do. I'm going to lay my colors out in the swipe line on an arc. Now, when you lay your colors out in an arc, please watch the way that I swipe. If the arc is going like this, when I place my paper towel into the swipe color, I arc it. And then as I start to pull it down, I straighten it up that keeps the arc in your swipe line and so on and so forth as you move down you kind of pull straighten it up and glide down now another question i want to answer is how do i dampen my paper towel i do it several ways i have a spray bottle of water but right at hand i have my squeeze bottle of water guys and i usually stack about six or seven paper towels on top and I travel along the bottom inch of that paper towel with, or that stack of paper towel. I do them all at the same time. I travel along squirting out some water. I flip them all over and then I do the other side. And then I lay them next to me and I grab them as I need them. Sometimes I cut them into smaller pieces. Like if I get over here to this part of my arc and I only have that much to swipe, I cut the paper towel accordingly so that part of the paper towel hangs over. So when I'm swiping on an edge, pay attention because I always have extra paper towel hanging over that edge and I secure it with my hand because what happens is if I was pulling this down one-handed the weight of the pa paint on the paper towel as it travels starts to pull that paper towel over the edge so as I'm dragging it down I'm supporting it with this hand right here so just a few pointers for you swiping people out there I'm apologizing ahead of time. I am doing a black canvas and I avoid them when I'm recording because of the glare. Eventually I will figure out how to fix that. Massey boys, you will help me when I see you in a couple of weeks, but I apologize ahead of time. You're going to see some glare from the black canvas until I get my co colors moving across the canvas. So our base coat is Artist Loft Black in the new soft body acrylics. This is the new Artist Loft and we will see how it does. 
I also have it in this little cup right here. I use that as my eraser if I need it. And we are working in some yummy colors today. Very minimalistic, but yummy. So let me show you and tell you what I did. We've only got three colors going on, and this cup right here is Golden Fluids Burnt Sienna. I wanted to use my copper, but for the first time in my painting journey, <laughs> I am out of copper. So I grabbed the Burnt Sienna, that's in this cup, straight Burnt Sienna, with my pouring medium, which is 50% Floetrol, 50% Golden GAC 800, in all of these paints, including my base coat. My base coat is the same consistency, possibly just a little bit thinner than these paints. So we've got our burnt sienna in the golden fluids. In this cup right here, we have our burnt sienna in the golden fluids. And I added to that PBO Studio Acrylics, and this is their iridescent precious gold. I love this gold. I just ordered two more bodies, bottles of it, guys. I like it better than the Deco R24 karat gold. Just my preference. It's a bit softer. It's not so much in your face kind of gold. This right here, one of my favorite colors, Golden Fluid Acrylics, the Q word in the Nickel Azo Gold. And this right here is the Q word in the Nickel Azo Gold with a little bit of the Studio Acrylics Precious Gold. And this last cup right here is just the PBO Studio Acrylics in the Precious Gold. Like always, guys, my paints will be listed in the description box. You can tap on that. It tells you my paint to pouring medium ratio, what I'm using for my PM, what colors I'm using, and what music you guys are listening to. So once again, I apologize for the black glare that you are about to see but hopefully that'll go away quickly. Let's get swiping, guys. Let's get busy. Mm -hmm. 